In 2000, a unique competition began. Two aircraft makers, Boeing and Lockheed Martin, were vying for the lucrative Joint Strike Fighter contract. Boeing's X-32 technology demonstrator performed to expectations, but there were problems with its short takeoff and vertical landing system that was one of the requirements of the design. Lockheed Martin's X-35 demonstrator performed well across all the design criteria and was awarded the right to proceed with the further development work required to bring the aircraft to production. The concept behind the Joint Strike Fighter requires three variants that can all take advantage of the base design to deliver a cheaper, more efficient manufacturing process. The first variant, known as the F-35A, is a conventional takeoff and landing aircraft for use by the Air Forces of the eight nations partnering with the United States in the JSF program. This is the smallest and lightest of the three variants. It is designed for sustained high performance while presenting a low profile to radar. The B variant is the most complex version of the developing F-35s. It is required to have a short takeoff and vertical landing capability. To achieve this, the tailpipe swivels downward and a lift fan behind the pilot comes into operation. Designers have had to sacrifice range because of the extra weight involved in the vertical lift technology. The F-35C is designed to work from aircraft carriers. It has larger wings needed for low-speed approaches that are capable of being folded for storage. In addition, the C variant has reinforced undercarriage and airframe to cope with carrier landings.